what is up all football fans and Barca fans back again with another video and hopefully this one won't be too long I, I don't think it's gonna be a too much long of a video I don't have overly much to talk about just a few topics uh surrounding a few things um but uh, uh also first I want to say that, sorry for the lighting it's a little bit shit here I need to pull but anyways this uh before i get into the main topics i just want to say a couple of things um of course uh, sorry, stuff uh, first off um i uh, want to give a shout out to a to a legend sadly today some news that a legend is retiring from the football a true and what true king pretty much if you say so for many as uh, Zlatan Ibrahimovic is ret officially retiring from football. All footballers retiring from Zlatan, they say, right? <laughs> but he's officially announced his retirement, and um, it's it's very sad. It's very sad, definitely, because um, he's been a big part of the sport and done so incredibly much in the sport over the last 20 years or so. It's been absolutely incredible to watch him and see what he can do uh, on that pitch. It's just amazing. The goals that he scored, some of the most incredible goals you ever see, really, and all the teams that he played for, and he he was the one that got me into the sport, really. In the early two thousands, he he was the one I started watching, and especially because I'm from Sweden as well, so he he got me into that. Um, and I started watching him mostly, I believe, when he's when he played for Juventus, I believe. That's when I most started watching. Um, it, it was absolutely incredible, and then he came to Barcelona as well. I wish he would have been you know, able to play a bit longer there, but for what he did that season in Barcelona, like that was really incredible as well. He it was so awesome to have him there at the club. Um, it was just it was cool. What, what he did for us was really really cool. Like the goals that he scored, that classical goal is always gonna be a big one, always gonna be a really really special one uh that I remember uh so th that was really good and i wish he could have lasted longer but he he went on to, to play for a few other clubs and do really awesome things and for the sweden national team as well uh what he did he, it was really really good he never never got to win a win a, too far in that in the competition but he still did Really, really well, and it's 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 sad that he ne he never got to win a Champions League. We should have won it that season, but thanks to the refer stupid refereeing, we were screwed out of that title. Um, when we faced Inter, but still, even that, even without the Champions League, he's considered definitely one of the best. He's been up there for a long time as one of the greatest footballers, one of the greatest strikers. You know forwards he what he did he was a special player uh, on and off the pitch definitely uh, his charisma his personality and everything that he just he just you, you everything everywhere he went you can you can see you can you know that's you know he, he had that uh outgoing kind of uh, word extra kind of stuff going on about him so it was it's always like this of in, in any place that he went and he made it all really cool but in a good way you know you know he, he showed on the pitch what he can do and always had that confidence and always backed up his most always backed up his words when <laughs> and showed true true power on that pitch and it was absolutely incredible uh and that's never gonna be forgotten you know um so yeah, I just want to say thank you, Zlatan, for everything. You are absolutely incredible for everything you have done for the sport, and hopefully from now on you can go on and uh, do even more <laughs> outside of the pitch. Maybe do some stuff. I don't know what he's gonna do next. Um, I'm pretty sure he will stay in in the sport somehow. Do some. Um, <clears throat> behind the scenes stuff. I don't know if that's gonna be at Milan. I, I don't think so. It looks like he's leaving, but um, we'll see. We'll see where he goes next. But he has plenty of time to decide that. There's plenty of money, so he can um, he can do really whatever he wants, really, because he's 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 earned that. And 
it's been incredible to watch him play. Uh, it's been absolutely a pleasure. So, yeah. Well, that's a little bit of that. Um, the second thing before the main topic is also... Uh, the, one, there's another big congrats to our women's team. Of the Barcelona women's team who have won the Champions League this season. Absolutely incredible work by the by the girls this season. Once again, they have uh, absolutely dominated the more, uh, women's side of the sport. They have done so well, uh, both in the league and everywhere else, you know. And in the final, in the, after the first half, it looks like it's going to be another tough situation, just like last year when we slipped up a bit but and then lost the... But no, they turned it all around in the second half, scored three goals. The third one scored by uh, Federina Rolfa, and uh, it's just um, absolutely incredible. The other two were scored by, I think, Patri, I think it was, uh, or somebody that if I think it was her, I don't know, I don't, I don't remember exactly who the first two were, but either way, um. They made an absolutely incredible comeback in the second half. I uh, threw a remontada, really, and they got the title. They just like, no, we're not going to do it. Not going to happen again. Uh, we're not going to lose this again. They had that Enrique mentality, pretty much. <laughs> um, so, yeah, it, it was it was really good. It was really, really good. And I'm very happy to see them have that success really well. So congrats to the girls. They have done us proud very much. And the... Uh, uh, hopefully they can keep going like that and do even more great stuff next season. So yeah, but now we get into the <coughs> like the you know so the whole thing we really try like this transfer window is gonna be very very tough. It can be either very good or very difficult because there are some things in the air right now, especially surrounding Messi. If he will go or not, it will come or not. It's it's of course it is official. He's leaving PSG, but it's where he will will he go? That's the question. It's reported now that um, the the Arab team, uh, or I don't remember the name of the club, but the club that's basically I believe uh, is the biggest rival of Hamas team, the um, the Blue Badge. They they are the ones that uh, they want Messi, and they have. Increase the things on this rumor that they will be increasing the offer uh, in the money to, to Messi. There's already an offer up around 1.2 something billion euros or so, and that's absolutely nuts in that amount of money, like per year, right? That's what they're offering him. But um, it's it's interesting because Jorge, Jorge Messi's father obviously wants the money, he goes for the money more than, but Messi really doesn't in the end care much about the money but if there is no other options you know he will still go for what's there on the table but we are stuck in a difficult difficult situation but right now because la liga is still not approved are still not shown any uh, like in here of uh, like approving the our uh our plan for everything for for the transfer window and they uh, have said that sometime next week it will possibly be happening but i don't know it's and also the the time is running out and also there's like a this thing in that <clears throat> they could be 48 hours and uh the herbs will the Herb club will probably go and try to try to finish up the deal to sign messi and like messi is not gonna wait too much longer either so it's it's very difficult right now we don't know what's gonna happen it, we still hold our hope because messi does want to the return to Barcelona more than anything. So let's hope that we got we get that confirmation that we can go and get that okay to go sometime now to either tomorrow or the coming day or two. So like either Monday or Tuesday, uh, hopefully, and we can start working on it. So it it's very annoying, and I'm I'm really really mad at because this is just really stupid from La Liga it's really really stupid from La Liga and it's just makes no sense I really don't understand what they're doing why they're doing this they, it just always have to be something with them always have to be something with Tebas and it's just pissing me off in a way kind of it's, it's just annoying it's really annoying it's just dumb 
it makes no sense why, why they will be doing this. It almost seems that it's deliberate, pretty much. But who knows? Who knows? It's just uh, a, a dumb situation right now. Hopefully, it can all be soon. Um, and also, speaking of the club, it's, uh, I believe, Benzema has been announced that he's going to be leaving Real Madrid. So, he's been, he'll be going to Saudi Arabia, playing there. I believe for that exact club that are trying to get Messi, I believe... He'll be joining that club. I think that's the case at least right now. They're offering him a lot of money too. So uh, he's leaving there. Um, Sergio Ramos is leaving PSG also, by the way. Um, um, on the hands also Asensio is going to be leaving uh, <coughs> Real Madrid. And he's probably going to PSG or something. Just a couple little transfer updates there. Uh, on the other hand, also uh, about Gunjugan, it looks maybe like he there's some reports from the Sun, which is not the most reliable source, but um, at least they are reporting that Gunjugan is maybe moving closer to renewing with Manchester City, which is not good news for us. But um, I'm not I'm gonna hold on on that one a little bit more because I don't know if the Sun is the most reliable place to get the information from. They're not. I'll wait until a more reliable source says anything about that until I really believe that because um, the sun has been wrong a lot of times in the past so I, I'm not gonna fully start believing that yet but we'll see what happens with that hopefully we can do you know because Konjugan is an incredible player and you saw the goals that he scored in the FA Cup final that just proves even more he's done incredible stuff especially this season with Manchester City so he will be very very good for us and I, I'm hoping that we can get that in. So, yeah. Um, some other reports also, which I don't believe they're true. Uh, it's like there's something about uh, us not being able to pay the 40 million for Victor Roche and all that stuff, uh, which I don't believe. I don't think that's that make any, makes any sense. Like, I believe we can definitely pay that. Um, but we'll see what happens there. <coughs> um... And there's some other, you know, there's some other ups and downs and stupid stuff. Like, there's always some weird reports. And that's why I'm holding off. I've hold, oh, I can't even speak. That's why I've been holding off on making a video, really. Because it's been a bit, like, I don't know. It's too much up and down with the reports. And I, I make a video, say some, mention one report. And then as soon as I stop recording, another dumb report comes out about something. It's just... But I decided to do it now and say that I wait until the end of the week, right? This something just get everything out that's been reported this week. So hopefully, next week there will be more good news and we can start working on uh, rebuilding the team and getting it really good for next season. I hope so. I really do hope so because the transfer window is pretty much open now or will open soon. So it's. It's gonna start shaping up too. So whole and then time's running out as well for them. So hopefully by <clears throat> sometime now next week we can have some good news uh, surrounding all that. And yeah, um, judging and also, um, and then also the our final game of the season was played today against Celta Vigo. Uh, Celta needed to they needed to win to stay up, and they did. Um, we didn't have the best of games of course sadly for Ter Stegen he couldn't reach the record break the record you know record but he still did equalize it this season and we did lose that game 2-1 though at least Ansu Fati did score so he's really proving himself late last few games that he really wants to stay and hopefully he will and he can step up even more next season I think it will be dumb for us to to sell him on. I don't think that will be the smartest thing. I think Ferran Torres probably should be the one. To go along with Eric. He uh, and a few others like that. That don't really fit anymore in the team. Um, but. Uh, overall. Not a bad performance right. But just you know. It is for this end of the season. Last game. And it's for the loss. But we did win the league. And that's all that matters in the end really. So. Now we can start building um, up. The season is officially over. Uh, we can start building now, and hopefully next week that we we'll get the we we'll get the like the um, how do you say it? Uh, I don't know. I've lost the words really there, but uh, 
we'll we'll get the indication. We get the you know the mark uh, to start it off. Really, just we get the go. You know to set off and really start building. So hopefully that will happen. Hopefully there will be better stuff, uh, some better more muse. Um, yeah, that's gonna do it for this video. Um, nothing much else. A lot right now to report on. The that is the situation right now. It's still up in the air what's gonna happen but hopefully by next now next week we can um start talking more and start start going forward and rather than just uh, st standing still like this because it's very very frustrating and very very annoying so yeah but that's gonna do it thank you guys for watching if you did enjoy this leave a like down below and also subscribe if you're not done that already and ring that notification bell to get notified next time i upload a video um which will be sometime next week so yeah sorry if this one was a little bit shorter but it wasn't too much really we're in a, like a stale situation so there's not too much to report on but yeah just to at least make a video and report on some of the things i needed to say but yeah other than that thank you guys for watching and thank you for this season and everything all the along uh yeah let's hope we can start rebuilding soon and i'll catch you guys in the next one Peace, Gabarson.